بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اذكروا نعمة الله عليكم صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما Let's begin with the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal nas, O people, udhkur, remember, ni'mat Allah, the bounties of Allah, alaykum, that He has bestowed upon you. O people, remember the ni'mat of Allah that He has bestowed upon you. And one of the greatest ni'mat that we have in this day and age is ilm, is knowledge. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said regarding ilm, طَلَبُ الْعِلْمِ فَرِيدَةٌ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ مُسْلِمٍ That the seeking of knowledge is farz, is farz upon every Muslim, whether they are male or whether they are female, is farz. And alhamdulillah, this, this ni'mat of knowledge, this ni'mat of knowledge, we, we go to schools, we go to colleges, we go to universities, five, six, seven hours a day, five days a week. And then after this, on the weekends or during the week, in the evening, you know, two, three hours, one, two, three hours, we study the deen, we study the deen of Islam, we study the Quran, we study the Arabic grammar, we study fiqh, you know, we study the, the tafsir. And in spite of all of this, we have all these ni'mas, all these ni'mas of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are still neglectful. We are still neglectful. If you look, if you count the number of Muslims, young Muslims in all them today, and you count the number, how many there are today, and then you count the number, the number of Muslims, young Muslims that attend the classes, these classes like tafsir classes or fiqh classes. If you count the number, it's only a very minute percentage. It's a very minute percentage. And I, and I made a point of what Mulana Faisal Yaqub Sahib he said in a few a few months ago in a Jummah speech. He said that if you want to destroy a nation, these are his words. If you want to destroy a nation. Then you don't you don't need to go to war with that nation. You don't have to throw bombs or grenades at that nation. All you have to do is destroy the educational system of that country. You destroy the educational system and they will self-destruct. This is the words of Faisal Yaqub, Mullah Faisal Yaqub. And look, if we look in our in our country, in our home country, or we look in our area, what do we see? We see glimpses of it of in our in our area. People are self-destructing. Why? Because they, they neglect the name of Allah. One of the ni'mats of Allah, another ni'mat of Allah is the Arabic language. There's this mentality that's going around now that the Arabic language is only for the Arabs. This Arabic language is causing so many problems. People are translating books from Arabic to English and they are translating things wrong. So little things are being translated wrong. And these wrong translations are leading to people to go astray from their deen. People are being led away from their deen. I'll give you an example. You have this little particle. In, in, the Arab, in Arabic, you have this word, this particle called Ya, like Ya Allah or Ya Rasulullah. So this one particle is called a Harfi Nida. There are many particles like this called a Hurufi Nida. Some which are specific for calling people who are far, and some are, are specific for, people, for calling people who are near. But this one particle Ya, this one particle Ya, the Salafis, the Sarf scholars agree that this one particle is used in general, whether you want to call people who are far or whether you want to call people who are near. This one little particle causes so many problems, so many debates, so many sects are being created just because of this one particle. Wonderful. And just in spite of all these ni'mats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we still, we still neglect all these ni'mats and we are struggling as Muslims today. We see, you know, nobody can deny that we are struggling in this day and age. In the 20, 21st century, Muslims are struggling. And when you struggle, what do you do? Normally when you struggle, when a community, when a country or anything, when anyone struggles, they revert back to the basics. And we, I'll give you an example because there's a lot of youngsters here today. The youngsters who play football, I know many people here play football. You know when a team struggles, they go into a football game and their passing is very inaccurate. Their pass accuracy is about 30%. Every ball is going out for a throw-in or the ball is going out for a goal kick. And then in the next training session, what, what happens? The coach gathers the team. He gathers the team and he says, look, we're going to do, we're going to do basic passing. You stand about 10 yards away from, another, from each other and you just pass the ball to each other. They've reverted back to the basics. And as Muslims now in the 21st century, we are struggling 
just like the football team was struggling. So let's Uzla also, like they revert back to the basics, let's us revert back to the basics. Let's revert back to the basics. And what are the basics? The basics are asking yourself, like as five, six, seven year olds, what do you do? You ask yourself questions. You ask what is what is the purpose of Islam? You know what what, what will happen on the day of judgment? Who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You ask yourself these questions. And a child, he asked his father, like, I read Quran every day. I read two hours of Quran every day. I read Quran every day. And what's the significance of the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers this in the, in the Quran itself. All these questions we have, they are answered in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَوْ أَنزَلْنَا هَذَا الْقُرْعَانَ عَلَىٰ جَبَلٍ لَرَعِيْتَهُ لَرَعِيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا مُتَصَدِّعًا مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ وَثِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالُ نَدْرِبُهَا لِلنَّاسِ لَعَلَهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ That if we had revealed, if we had revealed the Quran unto a mountain, then one would have seen لَرَعِيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا مُتَصَدِّعًا مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ Then one would have seen that the mountain, it would have shook, it would have trembled, it would have shattered to pieces from the fear of Allah. And then you look at and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in another place, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّهُونَ Quran That did they not reflect over the Quran? Did they not do tadabbar over the Quran? And then you look inside the Quran, what language is the Quran? The Arabic is, the Quran is written in the Arabic language. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the, regarding the Arabic language, Inna anzalnahum Qur'anan Arabiyan la'allakum ta'qinun That indeed we reveal the Quran in the Arabic language so that, so that one can use his intellect over it and according to a different tafsir so that it is easy for one to understand. And other questions are asked like the, regarding the Day of Judgment. Someone can ask, you know, when is the Day of Judgment? Someone wants to ask the Prophet sallallahu when is the Day of Judgment? And look at the reply of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He replied that the question is not when is the day of judgment. This is not the question. The question is what have you prepared for the day of judgment. Oh, you know, let's ask ourselves today in such a blessed event where we are in the presence of such great ulama. When we go home, ask ourselves what have we prepared for the day of judgment. What if we were to go today, tomorrow, you know, whenever we go, what have we prepared? What will we answer in the grave? Because we all know and we all neglect this. That kullu nafsin zaikat al that every single soul shall taste death. That, the, death the death is awaiting our arrival. I do dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives first of all me, everybody here, the ability to act according to what I said, to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma alayna ibn al Mashallah, that was a very informative, a very detailed and a very academic speech to by Mawlana Muhammad Janjal. Alhamdulillah, today that concludes the scholars I am going to do a talk already today, inshallah I will do a talk today, alhamdulillah, the three scholars have sufficed, alhamdulillah. Now, next.